Hello everyone! Sorry I was running us a smidge late tonight, but we got it technically started before uh, before 8.30. Um, before we get started though, I want to let everyone know I've been having some internet issues today. So if for some reason it cuts out, it's probably me, um, I will either A, try to get it back up and running because the way that it's been working is the internet will go down and then 30 seconds later it'll be back up again. We have a tech coming to fix it tomorrow, but in the meantime, we have this. So it seems to be okay right now, but if it cuts out for whatever reason, that's what's going on. I'll try to get it back up. If I don't, you know, if I'm not back within, you know, a few minutes, then we'll probably call it a short stream till we can get this fixed tomorrow. But cross some fingers, everything will stay nice and, and smooth. So that is our plan for this evening. Okay, so let's see, who do we I have in chat tonight? We have got Kimberly first in chat. Hello, Kimberly. We've got Philip. Hello, Philip, and Christina, and Sheila, and Kelly. Hi, Kelly, and Pat. Hello, Kimberly, Pamela. Hello, Pamela. I don't know that I've seen you in here before, so I'm happy to see you. Let's see, Tyler, Kimmy, let's see, Kimberly, Alejandra from Costa Rica. Hello, Alejandra. Let's see, Sherry, Jim, Patricia, Poppy. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Watching with the kids, very nice. Let's see, let's see who else here. Oh, let's go look out, see. Kelly, uh, Jordan, Emma. Hi, Jordan and Emma. Let's see, Jim. Let's see, Philip, Emily, ever consider putting a mini chat in a corner so we can watch full screen? I have thought about that, Philip, but then there are times where I zoom in all the way, and if I had a mini chat up, it would cover up like this part of the screen or this part, ooh, there we go, or this part of the screen, and so it might cover it up and it may distract, uh, distract from what we're coloring. So I have thought about it. There is a mini chat up on like the starting soon screen and you know the ending, but I tried to leave this one pretty clear just so that it doesn't cover up any of the page. Uh, let's see, there we go, Pat and hi Mia. Let's see, Sapphire, hi Sapphire. Let's see. Hi, Samantha. You're never late. There you go. That's right. I forgot about the uh, exclamation point late. You're never late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Exactly. I should know better. A wizard should know better. Or rather, an Emily should know better. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Let's see. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Kathy. Let's see. Am I missing anyone? Make sure I say hi to everyone. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad everyone's here. Well, we are starting a new page tonight. Now, I just put kind of a, an impromptu uh, notice up on Instagram and up on Facebook. Also, for those of you, real quick, let me jump back. For those of you that are also showing up, internet's a little iffy tonight. So if I cut out, that's why I'll try and get back. If not, we'll call it a short stream. But we have a tech coming tomorrow, so hopefully that will get fixed. So um, there's that. Anyway, um, ba, 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 ba. yeah, so new page. I put a thing on Instagram and Facebook about uh, what we are going to use. And uh, I decided we're going to go ahead and use Prismacolors with, for those of you who saw, I put the uh, review out with da, 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 some glitter gel pens because, oh my goodness, they're so glittery. Hi, Debbie. So yeah, so we're gonna use Prismacolors tonight, mostly because I was just really trying to think, the water, you know, you wanna do put a good water on it. And so I was trying to think of what pencils I have that uh, can create a great water background. And I, Prismacolors are the only one to come to mind just because they blend so nicely. Not that you can't blend the other ones, but you know, I was just, when I do the larger backgrounds, I'm more comfortable. You see, I had a little pressing from the page before. Uh, I'm more comfortable with the Prismacolors. So, okay. So, we've all got our pages. Hi, Rita. Also, for those of you that are curious, there is a review of this up, up on my YouTube, and you can still use the 10% uh, off code on Arteza. It's Emily Illustrator 1. So, and the links for these are in the description below. So, just FYI for those. Okay. All right, so let's get started here. I was trying to think of what I wanted to start with, and truth be told, 
I am kind of leaning towards starting with the water, but I'm also concerned about like, you know, smearing it or spreading some of the pigment as we go along. So starting with the fish would be fun. I like your nail varnish. Is it a molten metal one? It's actually two different ones. So I just use, I don't, I don't use anything too fancy. I just use uh, Sally Hansen. So I used, I've got it right here. Let me grab it. One second. Whoop, I'm dropping things. Uh, where is it? Well, I've got a clear one here somewhere. Um, anyway, I used, for those curious, uh, I used this one here. It is called In a Flash, and it's the Insta Dry ones. And then on top of it, I used this one. It's called Wild Card, but it was almost too glittery. Glittery. It was like, here, let me focus it. Focus, camera, focus. It was almost like disco which was a little bit too bright. So then I added another layer of this over the top and it toned it down a little bit. And then I just added a clear coat on top. So, but yeah, just nothing fancy. You know, it's like $4 a bottle. But I just got tired of having plain nails since my hands are always on stream. But thank you. Let's see. What do we have? Those are so fun to say. I hope everyone was well tonight, yeah. Cheryl, hello, Cheryl. Cheryl, you are not late. Look, do exclamation point late, and that'll give you your answer. So let's see. Uh, Kelly says, can you do the Arteza match for the Prismas? Yes, Kelly, uh, if you didn't see in the Facebook group, in the Facebook group, I created this handy chart. So if anybody is curious, we, we did Arteza pencils for the last one. Okay, let me make sure change the focus on the movie focus. Okay, so I changed the uh, Arteza, or, you know, I did the Arteza pencil last time. So I made this new chart based off the Arteza because the difference is there's 150 Prismacolors, but there were only 70, what is it, 72 of the Arteza. So it was easier to match. It would be difficult for me to match Prismacolors with Artezas as we're going along. So basically, because Arteza just doesn't have that wider range of colors. So if you go on Facebook, there should be a file on there. It compares all of the Artezas to the Prisma colors. So if you're using Artezas, you can find one that's close to there. Some of the, I see even say up here, some of the Prisma colors are numbers are repeated. This is on purpose only because since they're not the same line of pencils, you're not going to get the exact same color. So take a look at this chart and that should help you out. Um, and that, you, like I said, it's just in the files in the Facebook group. Um, so yeah, I did actually make that up. Uh, let's see. Oh, so happy we're doing this page. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, I did it once, but it was a long while ago. Of course, nail polish is two blended colors. Of course, Philip, I can't just do one color. I have to do two and I'm not gonna lie. There's probably about six layers of, there was two layers of the light pink one and then I did the gold, then I did a clear on the gold, and I was like, wow, that's too much. So then I did another layer of, of the of the light color, and then another, so that's what, that's what, two of that one, gold, clear, then the other one, and then clear, yeah. So there's like six layers of nail polish on here. But I can't, I can't not, right? So this is the last Johanna book I don't have. My book friend sent me three of her books this week. She's so amazing. Oh, that's awesome. So, oh, it's really pretty. Thanks, Sapphire. Love this book. Kimmy, I was so blown away by her. There you go. It says, wow, that's handy. There you go, Pat. Yeah, it's in the uh, Facebook group. See, see, and there she is. Hello, Robin, my lovely lady. Oh, there, you, oh, there we go. That Robin. Hello, Robin. <laughs> Let's see. I saw Castle Arts have a case now. Oh, very nice. Okay, very cool. All right, so let's take a look at our fish picture, shall we? Let's decide what we want to start with. Like I said, I kind of wanted to start with the water. And truth be told, I even considered doing um, like mixed media, but I think we can go ahead and do this all in Prismacolor with a little gel pen embellishment. So let's see, I guess let's start with something fun to get it started off. Why don't we start with one of the fish? Okay, we're gonna do this little fella here. Okay, let's zoom on in. Here we go, make sure we're all nice and focused. There we go. Okay, I wanna see, I'm gonna pull up real quick the page 
that I did before on this one. Give me one second. That way we can compare a little bit because I kind of want to do something a bit different than what I did before. So give me a second to pull it up and then we'll get started. So just one second because I think I've got it. Do I have it on the wall? I'm not sure where I have it hanging right now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Give me one second browsing the uh, Instagrams trying to I should have had that picture ready but I just did not think of it my brain has been totally scattered you ever have a day where it's just complete chaos and you know what is that Murphy's law everything that can go wrong will go wrong I wouldn't say everything went wrong but there was just there was a lot of chaos today but I got a lot done yesterday so that's good uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, come on fish where are you I know you're not that far oh there we go Oh, okay, I did do it kind of different. All right, so here is how I did the fish before. Let's see how well. Can we see that? Let's focus a little bit. There we go. It's kind of bright. So this is how I did the fish before. You know, we've got these little fish here. I did kind of a red and white. Now, this was early days coloring. Early, early, early. Let's see if we can zoom in so you can see. There we go. Yeah, this was early days does have a little bit of a mustache, doesn't it? Uh, I think at the time I had some goldfish that were kind of red and white, and so that's kind of what I was trying to fashion it after, but we'll probably do these leaves, not the same color, but the same style. Maybe we can try and do something a little bit different with the water. I don't know, maybe we'll mix it up a little bit so it's not exactly the same, you know? Yeah. So it was okay, it wasn't bad. So yeah, we'll, we'll mix it up a little bit. Maybe maybe time for some goldfish or some green fish. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, fish has a mustache. Yes, pretty much chaos every day over here. Yeah, right there with you, Sheila. Yeah, I need a case for my castle arts. That'd be great. Actually, Kimmy, if you wanted something a little bit different than a case, and I don't get any kind of you know percentage off this at all, but if you need a case, depending on how many are in your castle arts, if you want something that's handmade, there's a girl that makes these on Etsy. And it's a fabric roll-up case. She has all, you can choose the kind of fabric. I thought this one was real pretty. And then on the inside, it's canvas, and then it's got all of these elastic straps. Um, her, her Instagram, she's also on, um, yeah, she's on Instagram, but her Etsy, her Instagram is a hum for hope. I'll type it in here. Actually, let's do Instagram.com slash a hum for hope. Is that right? Instagram.com slash a hum for hope. There we go. Okay, see if that works. Anyway, she makes absolutely wonderful roll-up cases. And every time I post this, I make sure and I tag it to her, tag her on it. But if this one holds, this was her biggest one. This one holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So it holds 50. So it's great for those smaller sets of pencils. That's why I keep my ergo sets in there. Um, but anyway, if anybody's interested in it, you can check it out. She, like I said, all the stitching is real nice. It comes with a nice little leather strap. Like if I'm going anywhere, this is my go-to case. And I like, like I said, I don't get any kind of percentage for this. It's just literally, she made this. I love it. So if anybody's ever in need of a, you know, nice handmade case, she does a wonderful job. So highly recommend. Uh, let's see. The 72 set comes in the case now, okay. See. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is very nice. It's pretty. I like it. And she's got all sorts. She also makes uh, like smaller pencil cases. She makes uh, like jewelry cases. She makes all kinds of stuff. Anyway, very, very talented. Okay, let's jump in then, shall we? Let's see. Let's go ahead because we're going to do... Oh, you know what? There's nothing that says we have to do blue water. We could do look at my elbows and screen. <laughs> I literally put my elbow, put my head on my fist and was thinking. Um, 
We could do something kind of fun. We could do a different kind of colory water. I don't know, maybe we could do like a greenish kind of blue for the water. I feel a little off doing like purple. I don't know if anybody here ever plays The Sims. I play it on the rare occasion. I have some downtime and when you make pools on there, you have the option of making like this purplish water. So that's what I had in my head for a second. <laughs> um, but no, we can do like a darker kind of oceany water instead of that bright blue water. That could be fun. Um, so if we want something to pop, why don't we go ahead and do some orange, like some goldfish, huh? Hello, Amberly. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Sherry. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started then, shall we? Let's choose our oranges. And like I said, if you're using Artezas, this comparison chart is on the Facebook group as well. Also, I put up, um, I know somebody was asking about it, I put in the Facebook group a um, Stedler Ergo Soft chart. So there's that also. Okay, so let's take a look at our oranges here. Maybe we can zoom in just a little bit. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and do something that kind of kind of pops a little bit, okay? Let's grab, you know what? I'm gonna grab Tuscan Red. Let's grab Pumpkin Orange. Let's grab Orange. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Okay, so Tuscan Red, Pumpkin Orange. Let's grab Yellowed Orange, Eggshell, and White, okay? All right, so let's see. We need Tuscan Red. I'm trying to remember which drawer I have, and of course it's at the end. Okay, so Tuscan Red. And again, for those showing up, just so you don't go, hey, what's going on? Uh, internet's a little funky tonight, so if it goes out, that's why, but I'll try and get it back after that happens. If not, we'll just call it a short stream, but I just want everybody to be aware so they're you know, not confused and like, hey, what's going on? Let's see, has anybody seen Donna tonight? I wanted to make sure to also make a note so that if she was having a hard time, you know, mention to her in chat, but I don't know that I see her name yet. Hopefully she'll swing by at some point. Okay, so what did I say? Pumpkin orange. And then yellowed orange. Can you give the Arteza numbers tonight till I can get the conversion charts, please? Um, so here's the thing, is that the Artezas are a smaller set. I mean, I guess I can kind of, they're just, they're, they're gonna be more like, you know, here, here's what might work for it. They're not gonna be what's exactly the same for the Prismacolors. Only because, you know, there are a lot of colors that exist within the Prismacolors that don't exist within the, what's all fuzzy? The thing? I think it's as clear as it's been before. I mean, it's not HD by any means, but. Well, hi, Loretta. Let's give it a minute, Loretta, it might catch up. Um, Anyway, since there are more Prismacolors than there are Artezas, uh, you're not gonna find exact matches for Prismacolors on Artezas. You can find close matches for Artezas on Prismacolors, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna suggest for Artezas is basically what I'm getting is a gradient of pencils. So we'll pull up all the pencils, look at them, what they, what you, you know, what you're gonna get, and then just find, you know, like your dark, you want just a range basically, okay? Oh, she said she can't make it tonight. Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. All right, so I'm, let me grab the restroom real quick. Hello, Sarah Jane, hello, hello. wow, your color-coded pencil charts are awesome. Do you have a favorite Castell chart? Which picture is this book out of maybe Lost Ocean? Uh, I don't have a favorite Castell chart, but that's because I only own the 24 set. I don't have all of them, but I think I might have posted one in the Facebook group. Like, they, they have some uh, online. Uh, and this book is out of Secret Garden. Uh, this is the fish page uh, uh, near the end of the book. Hi, Nick. Nick and Tina, whichever. <laughs> I'm going to guess Nick. And Nick, oh, speaking of which, I know we talked about it last time, so Nick, you might have seen it already. Um, I went ahead and emailed uh, the girl that was in charge of that Christmas uh, holiday uh, color along next, what is it, next weekend? The 20, 26th, 27th, I think. 
whichever weekend that falls on. Is that Friday and Saturday? Anyway, um, I got a slot, so I'm gonna be also streaming for that uh, holiday event, the, the Christmas, you know, the, the festive one. Anyway, so we're gonna color page out of Johanna's Christmas. Forgot to mention that. So, um, let's see. So yeah, it's this is out of um, Secret Garden, Sarah. <laughs> okay, let me finish grabbing these colors before I get, forget what I got. But let's see, and then we'll, we'll talk about Arteza colors that might go well with it, okay? Uh, yellowed orange, eggshell, and white. Okay. All right, so for instance, for an Arteza, you can see, and I'm gonna kind of give you the formula here so you'll be able to match up uh, when we, because obviously your colors are not going to match exactly because again, there are Prisma colors that aren't even anywhere close to some of the colors on, um, uh, uh, on the Arteza chart, okay? So for instance, um, I've chosen Tuscan Red, so you could use something like Garnet. Pumpkin Orange is kind of like a darker orange, you can see it's this one here, but it doesn't have a real dark orange, so you could do something like Cinnamon or Burnt Ochre, okay? So basically, I've chosen a range, you know, from dark to light, five colors, that aren't so stark from me, dip from each other, but they'll be able to blend nicely together. So that's kind of the formula that you'll have in mind, okay? So yellowed orange could be like pumpkin, and then eggshell is like, uh, you could use marmalade or ivory, okay? So it, I, I think it'd be difficult to match all the Prisma colors to it, um, but that is gonna be your best bet. Just take a look at the range of colors that I have from dark to light, and then do your best to pick your range in there. Because like I said, there's just, there's more Prisma colors than there are Artezas, so it'll be hard to match up all the Prisma colors with Artezas, if that makes sense. So, let's see. Sounds like fun. I like Johannes Christmas. Yeah, there you go. Let's say R&B says, hello everyone. Hello, R&B. For those like me that had already completed this page, page five in Lost Ocean is a good alternative. Oh, there you go, Jim. Okay, so Jim says page five in Lost Ocean is a good alternative. Let me take a look here. We'll pull it up so you can see. I've got my books here, if I can. Grab out Lost Ocean. Ooh, ah. Page five in Lost Ocean, Jim says, is a good alternative. Let's see, got a fish there. Uh, let's take a look. Take a look, take a look, take a look. What do you think? Is that it right there? All right, so one, nope, that's the introduction. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, so it is this one right here. Okay, so Jim says this one's a good alternative, so you'll see how to color some fish and such, okay? There you go. Good, good idea, Jim. That's nice. Yes, Donna, we're doing Prismers. Hello, Donna. <laughs> Stopped in to just write colors down. All right. Well, Donna, we're starting with fish and we're using Prisma colors. So our colors for the fish are going to be Tuscan red. All right. Pumpkin orange, yellowed orange, eggshell, and we're using our white. Okay. Here we go. They're going to roll around. Let's zoom in nice and close there. There we go. Just got back from the vet. Ooh, let's see fishies. Yep. Donna, she, she she's going to use risk as as for the pick. I'm gonna guess that's a typo. Okay. All right. So, and the sharpener that I'm using tonight is. I don't like using the electric sharpener for the Prismacolors because, well, actually, I'll show you with the Prismacolor by what I mean. So I'm gonna turn this down so I don't blow out anyone's ears. One second. And I'll show you the difference, okay? One sec. Okay, so here is why I don't like to use electric pencil sharpener um, versus a handheld sharpener or something that would be a little bit shorter nib for the Prismacolors. Now everybody knows Prismacolor, um, especially these days, are prone to breakage and they're a very, very soft core. So you'll notice, let's see, is that in focus? Okay, so we're gonna line these up here you'll notice that there's a lot more lead. Here, I'm gonna use this to point here. Actually, I'm gonna take the picture away so it's not. Is it just me or are my new Prismacolors not like my older sets? Thoughts, comments? Yes, r &B, it depends on how old your older set is. There's a very good chance that it's not like your older ones because if you look here, so here's an older one. This is a metallic one. They don't make this one anymore. But you can see here, first of all, the lettering is different. This is by Sanford. They are now uh, outsourced to Mexico. You can see, let's see, I don't even know has the, yeah, so you can see it's marked USA here. So anyway, 
they 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 now oh, there you go now it's in there so it says USA right here they they outsource to Mexico now they no longer make them in the US um, since then quality control has gone down a little bit as in you get a lot more breakage but if you're talking about the physical aspects of the difference the font is different um, obviously it's a different color you know gold versus silver the code is a little bit different but one of the big differences and you can see it on this one here Let's see if I can focus so you can see this flaw here and I'm sure those of you who haven't have seen this flaw also okay you see this little line right here this is a crack in the barrel all the way up the way it works when they make these pencils is that the pencils are cut in half then they lay the lead down layer of glue gets put over it and then it seals it back up but this crack runs all the way down the middle there is no crack on this one I couldn't tell you how they used to make it, it might be the same way but uh, the point is they also use less glue they used to just brush it right along now they use dot glues which is why a lot of times you'll have a pencil where the lead falls completely out the bottom uh, so yes they are they're, you're right, R&B. They're just—they're not as good as they used to be. Uh, but you know, they're still—they still blend nice. The basic properties of the Prismacolor and its lead isn't terrible. It's just these days it's more prone to breakage. Uh, just the quality is not as good as it used to be. So yes, to answer your question, if you have an older pencil like this one, you will see there is a large difference in the two. Let's see. Oh yeah, but what I was saying about the difference here is that because these are such a soft core pencil, this is exposed quite a bit, which means it's not giving as much uh, support to the lead. There's a lot more, you know, wobble kind of involved just because it gives it does give us a nice, give it a nice long point, but it's not as much support. You need more of the lead covered so that it's, you know, it's because it's not a, a stiff lead. It's it's much softer. You're more prone to breakage if you have a longer um, uncovered point like that. So I like to use the smaller one. So I'm using the uh, Studler double barrel uh, sharpener. The link for this is also in the um, the bottom of the description. So, so I have a dial point sharpener for this. It's okay, there you go. Too soft for electric. Exactly, Donna, exactly. Let's see. Yeah, rubber band. Yeah, not quite as good. Exactly. I got packages today in the mail. They put them on my porch table. Didn't find them until this evening. A wind gust blew them off. One wasn't light here. Oh man, that's a big wind gust. Are the colors different? Um, I don't think colors are different, Mia, so much as they have colors that they've discontinued. And I think we've talked about it before. You know, like I've got the... Uh, um, the metallics too, but they've discontinued ones like this is deco orange. They no longer make deco orange. This is steel. They no longer make these. Uh, I think deco blue. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those, but they don't make deco blue anymore. So, oh, nice, Mia. Said so, yes, all my, all my 150s are, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I have like four or five new pencils that look horrible. Yeah, they're just not as good, unfortunately. See, so, yeah, I have some crack down the middle. Yep. Yeah. It's just less quality control, I think. Now cherishing my older set, oh my goodness, do r and because when you find them, like I said, uh, I, I had mentioned it previously, there was another group I was in and somebody had mentioned like, oh, I went to this little shop in Colorado and I found these metallic pencils and I'm like, wait, what do you mean metallic? Anyway, long story short, I called the comp I called the small little, you know, one-stop shop place. It was just this little, you know, mom and pop shop and I was like, I want them all. You know, there was only like 20 of them, so it's not like it was that big of a deal, but uh, yeah, they had them shipped out for me because I was like, uh, mine. <laughs> there you go. The prisoners have no sharpening issues, so they are fine. Oh, there you go. Uh, remnants of Tropical Storm Bear, I suppose. Yeah, probably. I got a set of color softs and one of them was spilled. I'm getting it replaced. Oh, good, good. Nick, Mia's on top of things. She's good, exactly. What's that lead? Is it in the center? Uh, it should be. Sometimes you can find some that are slightly offset. Okay, here's a good example. I'm gonna pull out one of these again real quick. And I promise we'll get started here in a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty centered. Some of them are off center just slightly. For the most part, it's there. Where can you purchase older sets? 
what the lead is in it. Oh, what about the lead? Yeah, they're they're pretty centered. Some of them are off, like I said. Uh, Pal Paloma, hi Paloma. Sherry says, where can you purchase older sets? Uh, your best bet would probably be eBay, Sherry. I honestly got lucky finding out uh, about the that little shop that had them. I mean, that I couldn't go and find that again. I wouldn't have any clue. Like I said, I think probably your best bet is eBay, unless you happen to stumble across them. Older sets are rare and hard to find, but sometimes on eBay. Now the risk with older sets too is that you know if although they're they're better quality, they may you know get jostled around at some point. So there's always the risk that they the cores may still be a bit shattered. But you could always try and you know meld them back together. You buy older ones on eBay. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. I know new sets have a butterfly on the front. If that helps, yeah, it's mostly you'll see it in the printing of the packaging. You know, it's got the barcode there, but. A lot of the older ones have different font and they are gold. Okay, we're gonna get started now because I could probably talk about these forever. I've done a fair amount on them. All right, so we're gonna sharpen up our pencils here. <laughs> yeah, it's nine o'clock and we haven't even put pencil to paper yet. I gotta get on that. Hello, Sarah it says, hi everyone. I'm not sure if I'll stay long. I'm having a bad day. Oh, I'm sorry. I had my extractions today and the doctor missed a piece. Oh, I went back so she could take it out and I found another piece. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry. We'll rest up and take lots of pain medicine. <laughs> Ariane says, hi people. I'm late because I was watching the suits. Exclamation point, late. There you go, everybody did it. There you go. You're never late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Exactly, and there's nothing wrong with watching something. All right, let's get started on our fish, shall we? I apologize that it has taken so long, especially for those who I think we have some mentioned grandkids that are up watching these, and it's probably don't want to cut into their bedtime here. So let's at least get a fish done before, uh, I think Kelly said she's got Emma and Jordan, and Poppy said she has her kiddos, so we'll get a fish done here, hopefully, before they need to hit the hay. All right, so we're gonna start with Tuscan Red. Let's make sure that we're nice and in focus. Okay. All right, so we're gonna color with the Tuscan Red just a little bit here. Okay, just at the base of the scales. have to start coloring from the beginning for Sarah. Well, lucky for her, I hadn't started yet. to get to take care of the doctors only there on Wednesdays. Oh, dang. Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to get that taken care of quickly. I learned patience for detail from watching your videos. They inspire me to try harder. Oh, thanks, RMB. Yeah, sometimes if you want those details, you gotta gotta take your time. I think we've been averaging about five sessions a piece for pages, but I think this one has the most detail that we've done so far, so we'll see. If I keep chatting like I was before, it's most definitely gonna take a six. <laughs> Can't find my coloring slash computer glasses. My friend just emptied my wastebasket next to my bed. I'm gonna go dig it out and check. Oh man! Okay, good luck, Don. I hope you find them. Make sure we're still in focus here. I 
And also, for those of you who haven't seen, I know I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, uh, I uploaded a gel pen review today, or yesterday. My days run together. Anyway, there's a new gel pen video up. You should go check it out. Gives it a nice, give it a nice little thumbs up. <laughs> uh, but seriously though, I reviewed uh, the metallic gel pen, the Arteza metallic gel pens, retractable gel pens, and glitter gel pens, which is we're going to be using some glitter gel pens on here also. And you'll be able to use the 10% uh, off code on them. So, but they're super fun and super sparkly. I should have insisted on more X-rays to be sure. Oh yeah, that perhaps. Mia says, yay, glitter gel pens. Well, hopefully he'll get them out this time. Aw, thanks, Mia. I've got two more videos that are going to go up here later this week. We've got the uh, art markers and everybody, the little mat that I'm working on here, too. There's one that's going to go up about that. Aw, oh, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, aren't they? They're so sparkly. I think I think they've turned me off metallic gel pens for life. I mean, you can't beat that glitter, man. They were so sparkly. Felt like I was raving too much about them on the on the review, but they were so sparkly. <laughs> I love sparklies. Alright, so we're gonna do the scales before we move on to the fins. So in fact, we're gonna move this just a little bit closer so you can see the scales even closer. Mm -hmm. Do our nice six inches from the page thing. We'll get this in focus here for you. There we go. Nice and close. I just got the chromatic glitter gel pens with refills. Oh, nice. There we go. Get him nice and close up here. Okay. All right, now we're gonna use pumpkin orange. We're just doing a little bit because we gotta leave room for our other colors here. I want to give away and she knows I don't use pencils much so she gave me glitter gel pens inside. Oh, nice. a scale there. This little one right here. This little scale of mine. I gotta color you. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> okay. You see I'm kind of going over the red just a little bit here. Got some Prime Day deals, all right. music is really loud. I didn't realize I forgot to turn it down. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. And we're going to use our 
yellowed orange. So we're gonna get our little brush here. If you need something good to brush away your Prismacolor dust, a little brush. I use a little old little paintbrush here. Yep, clean makeup brushes also. Exactly, Amberly. That works as well. I know it always looks a little rough when you're on your way there, but by the time you're done with it, it looks pretty nice. Found them. They fell off my lap dust onto some cuts of pens and were covered. Sheesh. I can see. I can see. Oh, yay, Donna. Awesome. Ooh, you know what? When we did that Christmas, that Christmas one on the weekend, I'll have to break out a Christmas playlist. I love the mermaid brushes. There you go. I just buy them to look at. That's awesome. There we go. Let's see, did I miss any? No, we're good. All right, brush this away. Now we're gonna use our eggplant. Woo, dropping pencils. Okay. Now we're kind of gonna blend the whole, blend the whole scale here. Oh, nice, Donna, perfect. Four color scales, yep. It's <laughs> teeny tiny. <laughs> Thanks, Rita. Well, we're not even done with them yet. This is just getting the basic scale color on them. And we're gonna add a bit more to them. Where do ladies buy the mermaid brushes? You probably find them on Amazon. Are we still leaving some white? Okay, so I got the white, uh, but I, I don't know that I'm gonna end up using it. I always grab it anyway, because I use it for blending, but I may not end up using it. So I added a little bit of Tuscan red, then the pumpkin, then the yellow orange, and now I'm filling in what's left of it. You see how I've left this white area here? That's what I'm filling with the eggshell. I tend to change sometimes as we go along. I got the white just in case, but uh, with, there's a good chance we're gonna end up not using it. I mean, cause really you can't only fit so much color on there. I thought I might need them for uh, blending the scales, but I don't think I will for this. Oh, mermaid brushes on eBay, okay. 
Also, in case I missed anybody coming in, hello, hello. I know I've said hello to those who are in chat, but hello also to all of you that are lurking. I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out. So now what we're gonna do, let's see, let's grab our Tuscan Red. I'm new to Prismacolors. What is the colorless uh, pencils used for? I've been using a 24 pack and brought recently, oh, bought recently a bigger pack waiting on its rack. Um, so Pamela, the idea behind the uh, blender pencils is that it's supposed to help blend the colors together. I have a problem, however, with that. So there's a big difference between, let's see if I've got, do I have one out right now? Mm, I might not. Um, but so here is the colorless blender pencil. I'm going to sharpen it to get that blue off. The thing that the colorless blender pencil does is it really, all it does is it shifts the pigment around on the paper, but it also thins it out. If you're going to use one of these, make it be the last thing you do. Because once you kind of press that down in there, it gets much harder to blend the colors together. It thins it out, it just shifts it around. I'm not a huge fan. Now, one of the things that you could do with it if you wanted to, it's nice and sharp. You see how I've kind of covered up some of these black lines? You could use it to kind of scrape away some of that Prismacolor because that's essentially what it's going to be doing when you blend it. So I'm not using it to blend. You can use it to just maybe uncover some of those black lines if you wanted to keep them, you know, nice and dark. But aside from that, you can see it's short because I've tried to use it, but I just, I am not a fan of it. The Caronda Osh blender pencil is nicer because it actually lays down pigment, but this is just like a hard, scratchy kind of thing. I am not a fan of it. I'm sure there are those that have somehow mastered it, but I don't find a need for it. Because so I was wondering how it was going to happen with the white. Yeah, I changed my mind as I went along and realized there wasn't enough room for it. So, yeah. All right, we're going to turn this now like so, because I'm going to do slightly vertical here. All right, and we are going to take our Tuscan Red, now that we've got our scales, and, you know, I'm gonna sharpen it here. Because he's still a little too flat for my taste. Okay. Now, one of the things I wanna share with you, you see how now that this is sharpened, it's got this little angle here. It's not straight across, it doesn't happen with everything like this one. Look, it's, it's pretty straight across. Sometimes though you sharpen it and it gets an angle. If you want to, if, and, and it's not always this way just because you know, once you go on the flat side, it's harder to color with it. And I apologize if sometimes I don't make sense. But the point is, if you get something with an angle, try and color with this part on the side that's going to get the pressure. Because since it's a soft pencil lead, imagine if you were to push here, it's getting some support from here versus if you push here, it's uncovered and you have a higher likelihood of this breaking off on this side. So just a handy little thing that I tend to do sometimes. Oh, thank you, Emily, that helps. The blender pencil as well as Derwent are great for creating texture that looks like rocks. Yeah, that could work. That could work, Donna. All right, so now we're going to take our Tuscan Red and we're just gonna, we're not pressing super hard we're going to color lightly across the top here and a little bit here. I use the Faber Castell blender that's all solid wax. It's all how I use it. Exactly. Yeah, and the uh, the Caronda Osh ones kind of like that as well. Okay, going to use our Tuscan Red here. Okay. And we're going to go here. We're going to use it along this edge also. We're still using that Tuscan Red. Okay. My favorite blended is what Emily, yep, yeah, Carondash, exactly. And I use it with Prismacolors too. I don't just use it um, with that. My only qualm with the Carondash is that um, they tend to break on me <laughs> quite a bit, but that's because the, you know they're, they're not in a barrel. They're just solid kind of wax. So you have to be careful how hard you're pressing. All right, so there's our Tuscan. Now we're gonna grab our, it will actually cover the pigment with light fast too. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that, Donna. That's a good point. I like that. Yeah, because the uh, the uh, Cron d'Ache light fast color pencils, which means they won't fade as much as time goes on. All right. So now we're gonna use the pumpkin. 
Okay, we're kind of blending that in. Still not pressing too hard, but we're blending it in with the Tuscan Red because there's already pencil underneath. You shouldn't need to press too hard to get these two top colors blended in with each other. Okay. Johanna likes the Derwent blender. Yeah, totally knocked over the garbage can. <laughs> All right, now we're going to grab our yellow to orange. Tuscan? Yeah, the first one was Tuscan Red. There we go. Yeah, first one was Tuscan Red, then Pumpkin Orange, and now we just use the yellow orange, yellowed orange, and now we're moving on to Eggshell. Derwent Blender leaves a weird gray color behind from what I've seen. I actually like the Derwent brand pencils in general usually. Oh, so not a fan of it. Okay. All right, so now we're going to use our Eggshell. We're just going to get that one last kind of blend with all the colors in here, okay? And I'm really not pressing very hard at all for these. All right, so now we've added a little bit of, a little bit of depth to our fishy here. Okay. Okay, does that fish look like it has teeth or is it just me? It kind of does, doesn't it? Like on my other one, I, you know, had, <laughs> as Jim said, it kind of looked like a mustache. I have a hard, my brain has a hard time kind of figuring out what this is so I'm not quite sure how we'll color that yet all right so now we're gonna move on let's let's do the back fins here okay and then we'll do the other fins actually we might zoom out just a tad and we'll just fit all the fins in here so that we can do them all at once okay there we go there you go I use Koinor Koinor blend this color is something like the white pencil oh I haven't tried that Arianne all right, gonna give them a nice little sharpen here. Okay, and I think, I think I want the fins to be slightly lighter than the body. So we are not actually going to use Tuscan Red this time, okay? Boop, Tuscan Red is gone. We are, however, I think going to use the white in this bunch, okay? Well, I think I'm way over tired. There you go. It's the dish's bottom lip. Ah, okay, okay. All right, so now we're gonna grab our pumpkin here. Okay, what we're gonna color at the base. We're using the pumpkin orange, the PC 1032. I've strained my brain and my eyeballs sketching all day. There you go. Okay, so you're gonna fade that out just a little bit. All right, same thing here. Okay, because there's a little bit of a fold there, so I'm making sure that we draw the color out just a little bit there. You know, we'll zoom in while we're working on just this one fin. That way everybody can see it nice up and close. I have Prisma White, Derwent Chinese White, Luminance White, Prisma Blender, Crondosh Blender, Derwent Blender, etc. I'm covered. Yeah, you're covered, Donna. You're good. Okay, let's see. And then we're going to do a little bit on the tail here. Okay. I know I use like Ergo Softs a lot and all of that, but I'm telling you, use some Prisma Colors. It's like riding a bike. It just comes right back to me. Okay. There we go. All right. Which blender is your favorite, Donna? Oh yeah, yeah, the Karandash, exactly. Yeah, the fish's bottom lip has wrinkles from puckering too much. <laughs> there you go. All right. So let's see. Now we're gonna use yellowed orange. I 
blended it into the pumpkin orange. Okay, same thing on this side. Okay. Now we're going to use eggshell. white. I'm going to kind of go over the whole thing here, okay? There we go. All right, so there's that main part there. Now we're going to take our pumpkin. Okay. We're going to add just a little bit more of our shadow here, okay? So we're using the pumpkin orange. Okay. Take it to the edge over here. Kind of do it a little bit here. Okay. And we're going to say, Amberly says, I've got to go walk my dog. Everyone have a lovely night. Sounds good, Amberly. Have a good night. Okay, then we're gonna use yellowed orange. Okay. Okay, then eggshell. our white. Just a little bit. Kind of in glass little blending bits. Okay. I will zoom out a little bit so you can see what that looks like. There we go. Our little fishy fishy. Hmm? Looks good. And this is gonna be when we're all done with the fish we're gonna add some glitter gel pens. This will be a prime opportunity to uh, to use some glitter here. Oh, I'm so glad, Mia. All right, so now we're gonna zoom on in. Let's do some fins on this fella. Oh, I was gonna say too, you know, I was saying you could uncover the branch. So this is a branch that's supposed to be over it. So you can grab the colorless blender, like I said before, and use it to just scrape away. Or, like I do on this, I have a sharpened end of a paintbrush here. Scraping away some of that prisma. There you go. Make the line black again. All right. There we go. Yep. Yay, glitter. All right. So now we have, we're going to use pumpkin orange, okay? Thanks to Emily, I'm learning to color softer. I'm coloring seaweed and use the mixed colors like she did in Lost Ocean. Yes, I'm learning. Yay, Donna. <laughs> there we go. All right. This was the, the pumpkin orange. Or are you asking Donna what pencil she's using? Well, for here, uh, in case you were asking here, I was using the pumpkin orange, Mia. Okay, let's see. And now we have the yellowed orange.
we're going to use the eggshell. Kind of go on over everything there. There we go. We're going to use white. Okay, now we're going to brush some of this away. Now we're going to sharpen here because my tips are getting a tad dull. Pumpkin orange. And across the top here. Okay. In here. Okay. Then we're going to use yellowed orange. Shell. Just to kind of blend all that in. And then lastly, white again. Okay. There we go. All right. Rita, I would say probably wax color pencils. I find that they are a little bit easier to you to use. That being said, there are those who have done just uh, oil and they did pretty good because that's all they ever knew. But I find that wax are more forgiving and easier to blend than oil uh, pencils, Rita. Okay. We're using pumpkin orange again. Just a little bit because we don't want to overwhelm it. Okay, then yellowed orange. Okay. Then eggshell. Okay. And white to make sure we keep that nice little shine in there. Okay. And we'll do this back fin here. Little bit on the sides here. We're using that pumpkin orange. Now the yellowed orange. And eggshell just to blend that. You don't want it to be too overwhelming. And add the white. Make sure that highlight's still there. Okay. All right. Zoom on out. There's our little finny fins for our fishy fish. Now we're going to do the front part of his face here. Okay. Make sure we're nice and in focus. Okay. Let's do this little guy here. Okay. So we're going to use pumpkin again. The pumpkin orange. Thanks, Sarah. Like I said, it's always hard to see until you start getting more of a finished product done. Okay, now the yellowed orange. Okay, and the eggshell. Okay, and the white. Okay, then going to use pumpkin orange. See, I colored that a little bit. There's a part there that didn't get colored in and it bothered me. <laughs> okay, pumpkin orange. Thanks, Mia. Fish and designs are easy. Now botanicals. There you go. 
The trick to botanicals are to keep the colors fun. If you do everything green, then it gets boring. That way you throw in a few blue leaves here and there. Hi, Tamara. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Shell. And white. Okay. So now, what we're going to do... Let's see. I have a question to ask. My local Dick Blicks say, told me today in Kansas... See, I have a question to ask. My local date books told me today in Kansas, Missouri. What did they tell you, Tamara? They said Prismas are coming out with oil color pencils. Really? I didn't know that. Although that's not surprising. I mean, this has been their signature pencil, but if they're trying to compete with Pris with uh, Faber Castells, that would make sense. Yeah, you could probably Google it and find out. But yeah, that'd be cool. All right, so we're gonna use our Tuscan Red now. I'd have to get used to them for sure. Okay, so Tuscan Red. Tuscan Red. Tuscan Red. Tuscan Red. Tuscan Red. Okay, now we're gonna grab Pumpkin Orange. And we're gonna grab our yellowed orange. Okay. And then our eggshell. Okay. We're gonna color that all the way in. We're not gonna add any white on that one. All right. Now we're gonna do the face. We're going to not use our Tuscan Red in this one. We're going to start with Pumpkin. Okay, so Pumpkin Orange. Going to do some on his nose. Oh, broken in. Okay. Pumpkin Orange here. Okay. And we're going to do some along the base here. You know what? Let's see. What did we say those were again? You know what? Let's just go ahead and color over that part there. We're just going to go ahead and color in that part. All right. In fact, I don't really want that to stand out. We're just going to color that whole part. We'll just act like that's all his bottom lip. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just hoping they don't break like their premieres. Yeah, exactly, Tamara. Yeah, we were discussing that one earlier. I love them, but I had to get rid of them. Watercolor Prismacolor's pencils are fine to hear. Hard to find here. I didn't know they made watercolor ones. I might need to look more into Prismacolor. I might have missed it. Did we outline the fins also? Uh, we didn't do any outlining, no. Oh, you're talking about like opening up those black lines or no, we didn't. We didn't. I'm not sure what you mean by outline. You mean like creating a bit of shadow on the side? We did do that. I have two more picks to finish my third book this year. Awesome, Tamara. Emily, let's name the fish Kobe and Mimi after Mimi's little, Mimi's little dogs. There you go. Well, I did have a vote for the fish to be called uh, Merlin and Wart from, uh, from The Sword and the Stone. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yellowed orange. There we go. All right, now eggshell. Oh, like how you did on the body of the fish around the edge. Yes, yes, Samantha, we did, yeah. Hi, Andrea. 
Oh, I love those names. I've yet to see that Disney movie, and I'm 45. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it could be a good time to watch it. Yes, um, Samantha, we did. We did a little bit of, uh, of Pumpkin, and then we did, you know, the kind of the same thing that we did before, only instead of using the Tuscan, we did Pumpkin, then the Yellowed Orange, then the Eggshell, and then the White. So yeah, we did outline a little bit. Same thing on the tail here. So we went back and re-outlined it here, here, and here. And we'll probably do the same kind of thing on the face as well. Okay, back to the eggshell here. Okay. Put on line there. Now we're going to take the white. Ah, uh, thanks, Tamara. All right, now we're going to take the white here and blend like so. Okay, just kind of going over the whole thing to smooth it out a bit. Okay. There we go. Get away of that dust. All right. So here we have our little fish. Okay, now if we want, we can, if we wanted to not have this go away so much, I'm going to take this little wood tip here and just, again, you can use the blender to do that, but maybe you just make it not so covered by the prismas. Like I said, I, I just, honestly, I was just bored one day and I stuck my paintbrush in the pencil sharpener, but it's turned out really good because I use it to point at things on here, so. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little fun with some glitter pens. Okay. All right, real quick. For those that haven't watched the review for these, okay, we've got loads of colors here, okay, there's 14 of them to choose from, which is not what I'm used to because my Sleechy ones that I always use only had eight, and I gotta tell you, these are so much more sparkly. So we're gonna be using our little brownish one here and our orange. And you'll just see just how sparkly these are. Oh, and actually, we're going to grab a blue one, too. Okay? For the little eye, eye color here, okay? We're going to have a little blue eye color. Because he's our fish, and we can color him whatever color we want. <laughs> okay. So. Let's focus a little bit. All right, so we're going to use kind of the darker, sort of brownish orange one. The, the gel pens don't have names, so... Oh, awesome, Kimberly. All right, so we're gonna add just a little bit above the eye, okay? Let's see. Then we're gonna use, let's see, is this in focus? Yes, it is. Okay, then we're gonna use, let's see, where should the blue go? Here. Okay, use the blue. Now let's see if you guys can see the sparkle in these. I'm gonna tilt the page a little bit, okay? There we go. There, can you see that sparkle? Look how sparkly it is! It's so sparkly. <laughs> see, you got lucky, what was it? Oh, you ordered them, okay. <laughs> Oh wait, congrats R and B. What was the congrats for? Oh, I just got my Cran de Ash 40 set of Neocolor, loving them backgrounds. Oh, very nice, very nice. You should try the Prismacolor watercolor pencils. I should, that would be fun. Sorry, if I ever miss anybody's, I apologize. Okay, now what I wanna do, now keep in mind, cause they need to dry a little bit, but they, they dry pretty quick. Now we're gonna use our, boop, little orange one, okay. All right, so you see how Johanna has these little, I don't know if you can see them, it's kind of hard to see these little dots on the scales. And you see I got glitter nails, so I like glitter. Okay, we're gonna go over those little dots. This will be our test to see how well these do over uh, pencils here. There we go.
to sparkle it. There we go. Here. Nice little sparkle in the light there. Let's see. Did you know Red Snapper has teeth like a dog? I do remember Red Snapper. I don't remember the teeth though. I was pretty young. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of orange here. Okay. And I see that there's two dots under the eye, but I think what I wanna do instead, so I'm just gonna line this a little bit with the orange. Just a tad, there we go. Okay, we got some dots here. We go there we go our little little bit of embellishment here let's see see it's all added stuff I need to learn there you go Becky's the one telling me how she ordered them okay very nice I worked on a boat for the summer yeah without going into too much detail about my uh, history let's just say there have been a lot of uh, how can I phrase this my family has uh, goes back to being involved with a fair amount of fish. So I have a particular relative that I could call and ask, and he's got a plethora of uh, a fish knowledge. So, and I've uh, been on some pretty cool trips. Anyway, but uh, ch -ch -ch. here we go. There is our first little fish. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, you can see. There you go happy little fish I was watching this thing on Bob Ross the other day I feel like maybe I should call things happy on here more often be like we got our happy little fish with our happy little message in a bottle up here <laughs> but that is our first fish so yeah all right very cool all right the question is now do we do the other fish I think we could do the other fish I don't think I want to do it orange though I think we're gonna be more Probably red, I think, I think would be nice. Unless we want to do some plants. I don't know. What would you all like to see colored? Do you want to change it up and move on to some plants? Or do you want to color the other fish right now? I'm going to let you guys decide. I'm going to wait a second because there's a bit of a delay here. So it's quiet for 30 seconds just because I'm waiting to see what you all say. I'm going to let you choose. Okay. Fish or foliage? ton of VHS's from Bob Ross. Yeah, I think he's, I think you can find him on Netflix or Amazon now they, too. They put all of his, his stuff on there. Not to mention, I think he's still on PBS. All right, Cheryl says, I'm going to have to say goodnight. Good night, Cheryl. Have a great night. Fish. RB says fish. Donna says fish. All right. We have two for fish, none for foliage. Fish. Okay. Anything would be awesome to see you color. All right. Well, we got three for fish and one for anything. So fish it is. All right, let's grab our color chart here. We're gonna do a purpley kind of reddish fish. Yay, my first completion during a video. Oh, awesome, Samantha, I'm so glad. Okay, so let's grab, let's see. Let's do, let's do fish, please. Okay, cool, we can do the fish. Uh, ba, 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 ba. let's see. Let's go ahead and Dahlia Purple. I really want to use that somehow. Okay, Dahlia Purple. Oh, me too. Good, Pat. I'm so glad. Oh, Samantha says plants foliage to save one fishy for later and mix it up. All right, so we've got, let's see, how many for fish? We've got one, two, three. Four for fish. Let's see. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. You crack me up, RB. All right. Well, the majority have asked for the fish. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get the other fish done, and then we'll go ahead, and we'll have plenty of pilots. Plus, we have this cute little frogo to do. Also, we get a snail, butterfly. So, yeah. That'll be good. All right. So, let's do Dahlia Purple. Let's do... Get some pomegranate, okay. 
Pomegranate, 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 pomegranate. Where are you, pomegranate? If you can say pomegranate ten times fast. Pomegranate, 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 pomegranate. pomegranate. Cannot say pomegranate ten times fast. Peacock blue with the dahlia purple. Well, I want to do kind of a reddish, uh, like purpley one. I'm going to avoid blue because we're going to do kind of a uh, bluish green on the water. And I feel like if I were to do a blue fishy, it might not pop as much from the water. Did you know you can take your Stedler fine liner or your Artisa fine liner and color something, then use your water brush over the color? Sorry, watching, but learn something new. I didn't know that. Froggy! <laughs> a shark. Is there a shark? It doesn't swim. Ah, that's right, there is a shark. Okay, for those of you who don't know about the shark, fun fact. If you've watched a lot of her interviews or, or anything, this little shark is actually a contribution from her husband. He used to doodle it on things, and so I think as an homage to him, you'll find this shark periodically uh, throughout her books, and that's her husband's little drawing of a shark. I thought that was so sweet. Kind of like that page in Inky Ivory that her daughter uh, had, had, you know, colored to add monsters, so she added it anyway. I was sketching, so I had to stop, put it up, set it over to the side. There you go. Yeah, I didn't know that, Kimberly. I'll have to try it. Okay, so... Dahlia purple, pomegranate... Um, gosh. You know what? As much as I want to use Dahlia purple, that's not really going to fit in with this. Sorry, Dahlia. You go back. Sorry. Okay, so we'll do pomegranate. We're going to do crimson red. Crimson red, crimson red, crimson red, crimson red. Okay, pomegranate, crimson red. We're going to grab carmine red. Okay, carmine red. And, 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 I want to bring in just a tad of the orange. So let's grab, let's see, carmine red to, oh, we'll do salmon pink. That'll be good. Yeah, those will be perfect. Okay, and we'll keep the white on call if we need it. Rainbow Perfection says, oh my god, I got you live. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rainbow. So glad you're here. Oh, did I miss Lisa? Lisa, hello, Lisa. Says, hello, Emily. Big hello to everyone. About to fix waffles for dinner, so I'll be away from my iPod. Sounds good. Sounds good. And if I missed anybody else, I apologize. Apricot? Let me see. Do you mean peach, Donna? Or am I missing apricot? Is there an apricot on the Prismacolor list? Am I missing something? I think you mean peach, maybe. Or her name is Mika. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, salmon pink. Okay. Yeah, and I apologize. If you guys suggest something, I've already moved past it. It's because I swear there's like a 30 second delay almost. So sometimes it doesn't quite catch up. Okay, so we are going to start with our pomegranate. Let me move all these gel pens out of the way here. Okay, so just to recap, we're going to be doing um, pomegranate, crimson red, carmine red, and salmon pink. Okay? Oh, you're saying Rainbow's name is Mika. Okay, perfect. Well, hello, Mika. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. If you put a little vanilla or cinnamon in your waffles, uh, Lisa, they're super tasty. Also, somebody here suggested apple bits. I still haven't tried that. I need to try that. I think that might have been in pancakes, though. Sometimes when I'm getting real uh, creative, I'll add, like, a nut bag or something to it also. Okay, so pomegranate. All right. We're gonna start with the scales, kind of like we did last time. Let's make sure we're nice and in focus. There we go. Okay. Thank you. 
what were the colors again? They were pomegranate, crimson red, carmine red, and salmon pink. And if you want the numbers, it's PC195, PC924, PC926, and PC1001. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are starting with pomegranate first. Waffles do sound good. Okay, give me one second. The cat wants in. I'm going to let him in. One second. Hi. Hi. Hello. You're a chatty fella. <laughs> We'll see how long he lasts. He has a tendency to uh, chew on my cords, so we're gonna keep a close eye on him because I got lots of cords out right now. But what he wants is a late night snack. What he's not going to get is a late night snack. <laughs> now I'm craving chicken and waffles. <laughs> You want to be in here, you can sleep, but you're not chewing on my cords. <laughs> Mia. Oh yeah, he's a vocal one, especially when it comes to his food. But normally he doesn't come messing with the door until close to 11, but it's only 10 and he's just like, I really want food. <laughs> Oh, hello. He's jumped up on my lap now. Here you go. You want to show him your kitty paws? Here we go. Let's zoom out, kitty. <laughs> Here we go. That's a kitty paws. Your kitty knows. Yeah, he would sit here for the entire stream. <laughs> and, and he's okay. 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 You, you need to remove yourself, young man. This is not a place for you. You need to get down. <laughs> okay, down you go. Down, down, down. <laughs> Kitty's taking up all the space on the computer. He's your typical cat that would love to just come and sit on the page the whole time that you're coloring. I'm watching the replay because, like I said, there's a delay and he looks hilarious being in the screen. <laughs> he does want the fish. <laughs> he does want to be the star of the show. That would that would not surprise me. He's, he's a bit of a ham. The other one's just happy to sleep all the time. Let's see the kitty. You missed it, Tyler. The kitty was here. Don't you know a cat's place is always in the center of whatever it is you're trying to do? Exactly, Donna. Yeah, Tyler, he hopped right up on here and had his little paws in the video. Emily, is there music playing on your video? It is. Is it not very loud? I can turn it up a little bit. There we go. I remember there was one video and it was like it was overpowering a little bit. And so I was trying not to compete with it too much. But if it's too quiet, then she might may, might not be able to hear it. But there you go. I turned it up just a little bit. If it's a little too loud, you can let me know. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out what was on in my room. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I keep a little playlist going uh, on in the background. Helps to fill the uh, the empty space. Plus, it's kind of nice to listen to. Helps keep the keep the rhythm a little bit. <laughs> Sir, he jumped up here, and now I feel like there's cat hair all over my face. <laughs> Let's see, where'd he go? I think he's going to his window. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that was the pomegranate. Now we're gonna go to crimson red. Okay, I'm not kidding. There is cat hair on my face. This is what happens when the cat comes to your desk. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna use crimson red. Now he's just over on the other side of the room just staring at me like he's expecting me to get up and go feed him. <laughs> Cats are fairly entitled. Look at that, it's even cat hair on my pencil. They jump up once and they shed like crazy. to get back up on my lap again. <laughs> okay, now he's at the door once out again. This is this is what I get for letting him in. You got to stop meowing. No, you no. No. You need to go out. Okay, you can come back later. All right, you can come back later. I usually gets to spend all the time he wants in here, but he's a little confused why I'm not letting him in. <laughs> Also, I totally just hit my foot. <laughs> but shouting expletives because you just hurt yourself is probably not the smartest idea. Remind me to move that other tripod I have. Dang. Oh, thank you, Samantha. Thank you for that five. Can we? She says, you deserve it and much more. You're so wonderful, Samantha. Thank you. Can we get some cheers and chat for Samantha and her dono? Thank you so much. That is so sweet, Samantha. Thank you so much. Right now we're gonna use the carmine red. Kinda going over everything here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to take a short break here to go feed the cat because he is attacking the door and it's just, it's, it's chaos. So just give me one moment. I'm gonna go feed him real quick.
Okay, we're back. Oh, Rainbow says, good night all, I'll have to watch the replay. Sounds good, thanks for hanging out. Night, Mika. Yeah, the other one saw me feeding that one and she was just like, hey, what about me? So, I had to feed both of them real quick. All right, so uh, yes, we are using Carmine Red, okay? Just a little recap. They are so funny. <laughs> he knows what he wants and what he wants is food and all of it. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to use our salmon pink. Just like the other one, we're kind of gonna go over the whole thing a bit. Exactly, exactly, Mia. Hi, Amanda, welcome, welcome. We are coloring some fish from Secret Garden. We already did an orange one. Now we're working on a red one. I was talking to Jacob this morning, kind of teasing him and he yells at me, you be nice, gotta love a parrot. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> what kind of things can he say, Donna? Is it stuff that he's just picked up or did you have to train him? You be nice. <laughs> Let's see. Night all. Time to let my fur babies out. Thanks, Emily, for the beautiful fishies. We'll catch up tomorrow. Sounds good, Sheila. Have a good night. it up night night sweet boy Jacob you be nice that would be nice what's up and a lot's worth that is hilarious that's awesome how long have you had him for all right so now we're gonna kind of did what we did on the orange we're gonna outline just a little bit so we're gonna turn our fishy just like so we're gonna grab our pomegranate this group is really fun I've been watching these for a little while but have not commented this makes me want to start back coloring. I had a baby year ago. I have trouble finding time. Oh, Amanda, I totally get it. I'm so glad that you enjoy yourself. You know, Amanda, the reason that I started coloring, it, came, it started getting popular, or I think I started in 2015. The reason I started is because I had one, I had a toddler, and then I had just had my second child. And I just, I felt like my world was so, we're using pomegranate, by the way, was so wrapped up in them and everything they needed you know when was the next feeding when was the next diaper when was you know when was this when was that kind of thing and i just found that i was just so wrapped up in them that i was almost losing a bit of myself like for you know, like well, what is it that i like to do you know like it just seemed like day in day out it was just when's their next snack when's their next bottle you know how many times have they pooped today you know it was just everything and it was just so I was so wrapped up in it and I mean I've always loved art and then this came out and it was great because you can get it out I mean unless I don't know 
Think of it as, as being a new mom especially, your mental health is so, so important. And yes, there's, you know, there, there's, there's chores to do, there's laundry to do, there's dishes to do. You know, there's always something around the house can be do. You know, it literally, the, we're using crimson now, literally, it's, it's never done. And so I found that I had to force myself to take time for myself, and that time for myself was when they were both napping. They were young enough that they were napping at the same time. You know, the, the baby would sleep, you know, whenever, and then the toddler, you know, would nap once or twice a day. I forget how old, how, you know, what her nap schedule was then. But basically, there was always at least one point during the day where I had an hour of quiet because they were both asleep. And especially now, if you have a one-year-old, they, you know, they should be taking at least two naps a day, if I remember correctly. And so that's gonna give you some quiet time. Yes, you can do chores and stuff. And now, my husband was really supportive of it too. So he knew that, you know, time for myself, this was Carmine, by the way, was extremely important. And so when they would have those naps, that would be my me time. It'd be during the day, you know, I get a cup of coffee, whatever. And then I sit down to color. And the great part about it was that I could pick it up, color. It wasn't a lot of art supplies. So then when I started hearing that crying, I could just shut the book, put the lid on my pencils and then go about the rest of the day and then you know sometimes after they went to bed at night now it's just mostly you know when they when they go to bed at night and stuff but what I'm saying though is that it was during those nap times that I was able to finally get that time myself and start to see myself as a role outside of just being the food maker and the diaper changer and the play date taker you know what I mean I just I needed I craved that that identity of myself back there you go, yep. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we are a fun group. <laughs> it's fun group. Some groups are fun to join in color or just chat. Exactly. Let's see. Oh, did you say what type of parrot? Let's see. Fine, you had Let's see. He picks it up. Let's see. I've had Jacob since March of 2016. He was a rehome. Oh, okay, okay. So he's picked up quite a bit in those three years then. Okay, now see, I'm looking at this and I feel like there's not as much definition as this one. So I wanna bring in a little bit darker of a color. So I'm gonna grab my chart here and I'm actually gonna grab black raspberry, okay? Love black raspberry. Let's see, that's black cherry, black raspberry. Cause I don't want this to get too muddy. You're exactly right, Emily. I'm trying to get my daughter into coloring. She just had twins. Oh, most definitely. I mean, I can understand she's probably feeling a little overwhelmed with twins, especially, especially if they're her first too. But um, yeah, it's just, you have to find time for yourself. Otherwise it starts to go bonkers and you just, you know, you wake up one day and suddenly realize like, where's me? What, what is it that I like to do, you know? Your older brother started coloring? Nice. Okay, so we're going to take this um, black raspberry. Like I said, I make changes along the way based on how I feel about it. All right, so we're going to take this black raspberry and we're going to do a little bit of that outline here. Aw, thanks, Kimmy. All right, black raspberry here to along the base. It was just getting a little too muddy, so I want to add in this little pop of contrast. We're going to blend it together too, so no worries. Okay, and this was black raspberry, okay? Is it black raspberry and cream you like together? Yes, I love the black raspberry and cream combination. Okay. There we go. Thin that out just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our pomegranate. Okay. Oh, no, four and five. She really needs some time for herself. Oh, for sure. Well, if she's got a supportive husband, then she should just tell him, be like, okay, this weekend, I need some me time. You know, now, now if the twins aren't bottle fed or anything, that's, that's one thing. But especially when the kids were little, and this was before I even really got into coloring that much, I would tell my husband, you know, because I just had the one at the time, and I was pregnant with the second, and I just told him, I was just like, I need to go do something for myself. And it wasn't even like, I didn't, you know, make a coffee date with friends or anything. I just literally needed some time to depress, to, you know, where somebody didn't always need me, you know, didn't, you know, didn't always, uh, you know, just, just 
It wasn't all like, mommy, 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 mommy. I need the next thing. I need a snack. I need this. I need that. You know, because it's even, they're on you all, you know, they're, they're literally attached to you all day and you just need that separation sometimes. So I would tell him, you know, I'd take a Saturday or something when he's home on the weekend and I'd be like, I need to go have some me time. And I would do, you know, like I liked going to the you paint it pottery place and I would, you know, or, or I just like, I take my coloring to Barnes and Noble, you know, I'd grab my to go bag or whatever. This was, um, I'm just lightening it with the salmon pink, you know, and I would just take my coloring out and I would go out and I would just literally sometimes upwards of like four hours in the afternoon. Now my first was bottle fed, so I could do that. But you know, the husbands, if, if it's, you know, a typical kind of thing, they're gone all day for work. They don't have to, you know, they, they help on the weekend and at night and stuff like that. But a mother's job is literally 24 seven, you know, they, they do their nine to five. And then at the end of the day, they get to clock out. Now, thankfully my husband is super great. So he comes home, he plays with the kids, you know, he does all of this stuff. It's great. But sometimes you have situations where it's just like, okay, you get a clock out at the end of the day. I don't get to clock out, you know, I am, I am on call 24 seven to change the diapers, clean up whatever, you know? And so sometimes you just have to physically clock out, you know, they can call you if there's an emergency, but for the most part, you are taking some time for yourself, for your mental health, for your emotional well-being, all of that. So you can come back and feel refreshed and ready to deal with the meltdowns and the tantrums and the blowouts and, you know, the food on the floor and the food in the hair and, you know, all other kinds of things. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, children, ch having children is absolutely wonderful, but sometimes it can be a bit much. I started using pomegranate, but we're going to use crimson. Anyway, so what I'm saying is that finding the things that help you, you know, deep, you know, what is it like a uh, decompress to chill out. Those are important to hold on to. Just like, you know, they say it's always important to continue dating. Think of it as dating yourself too. You know, you're, you're getting to know yourself, reminding yourself of what it is that makes you, you and not just, you know, your children and your toddlers kind of thing, you know? So true. It's been a pleasure watching you. My goal this week is to bring up my coloring books. Awesome, Amanda. Well, more power to you. I would do this pick with you, but I did a long time ago. Of course, I can tell how far I've come with my coloring from the pick. Oh, exactly. Like my past one. I, I feel like this one's going to look better than the first time I did this picture. My dad was home every night and my mom was at work at night. Oh, there you go. When I was a kid, a mother's work is never done. Exactly. He had to do everything. We had a lot of ice cream dinners. <laughs> yep. I'm a child survivor. <laughs> child survivor. There you go. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> Exactly right, Emily. I used to quote unquote run away from home for one weekend a year. It was super helpful. Exactly, exactly. I think it's just so easy to get wrapped up in our children's needs and wants and everything that we forget that we have needs and wants as well. And coloring for me was that way of, of doing that, you know, just escaping for a couple hours a day or something. I never thought of bookstores to color these. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, Barnes and Noble, at least the one we have here, they've got all the tables set up and there's a Starbucks in our Barnes and Noble. So you can get coffee, snacks, whatever. I remember uh, the tiger that I have posted, I colored a lot of that at Barnes and Noble. I actually had people like stopping and watching what I was doing. You know, I kind of felt like one of those street painters. Everybody's standing around you watching, it was funny. But uh, now I have this, I found this new kind of uh, independent coffee shop that's just super great. Uh, they make all of their pastries in-house, so that's my favorite place to go and and, uh, and, uh, and color if I'm going to take my coloring stuff out. I really enjoy that. I have mild Tourette syndrome, but it only manifests when I drive, watch hockey, or have to listen to politicians, so I color instead. Uh, I don't know if that's Tourette's more so as you're just, you know, passionate. We'll leave it at passionate. <laughs> you're funny, RMB. Do most of you guys color long or just watch? Well, I color along, but that's just me. <laughs> you know, I'm coloring along right now. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use Carmine Red now. Yes, our bookstore has a Starbucks too. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's great, Loretta. I love it. Especially because this place I like to go to, they make all of their pastries in-house and they have fresh ham and cheese collages and they're super good. Occasionally I'll treat the kids to, you know, well really I'm treating mommy because I want to go get coffee and a collage, but if they're with me, I'm like, hey, who wants a tea biscuit? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, tea biscuit. I used to go to fast food places to color and had that 
and had that too. People come watch me. I was trying to get a color club locally, but it never worked. No one showed up. Yeah, you know, I found, I've even checked here where I live and this particular place where I live, it's not a small town by any means. Um, but I just, I think it's so much harder to find people that you know in person that are as passionate about coloring as you are, you know? That's why the internet's great because you have this, but it would be nice to know some people in real life, you know? Like, I have family that enjoys it, but they don't live here. So it'd be nice to, um, we definitely break out the coloring whenever they visit, but it'd be nice to know other people in real life that, you know, enjoy doing this. All right, now we're gonna use salmon pink. over this just a little bit. Okay, we're leaving this little bit here because we're going to use white. I used to color, I used to color along, I color it too slow. I have an index card, I write down the colors, come back and watch at a slow payback speed at my pace later. Oh, there you go, that's perfect. There we go. Alright, now we're going to use our white. There's a local bakery I want to try so bad, but they're only open for two hours in the morning. Weird hours. I mean, this place I go to, you know, closes at like three because, you know, who's getting coffee, you know, late afternoon. But that's weird. That must really limit there. I wonder if they like ship out or something. How do they make money if they're only open two hours? How many brands of pencils do you have? Ooh, that is a good question, Donna. But I colored a couple pages that sort of answer that question. I've actually got them right here. One second, let me grab them. Cause see, I have some different brands, but it's like instances where I only ordered like five of them because I wanted to try them out. So, okay. I colored, let's see. Our local library lets us color there one day a week as a group, but it's only for 30 minutes at a time. Oh, that's too bad. I raised my kids supposedly, but I've turned into a built-in babysitter man. Babysitter made laundress. Now my oldest moved back in. If I could find a place to go sketch slash color and have coffee for a few hours, I'd go. Oh, for sure, Loretta. If I had a vehicle, that is. Eh, there you go. So if that's a good idea, Donna. Oh, the playback speed, yeah. Okay, so when she sent out the this thing initially, my goal was to color it with... Uh, Every different kind that I have, each flower is colored differently. Hey, you can click on playback speed and slow it down. Just turn off the sound or Emily will sound funny. Like, hello everyone. Today we're coloring the fish. <laughs> there we go. That's that's Emily in slow-mo for you. Oh, there you go. An Uber. Yeah, an Uber could work. I think it's because this is a college town, but even... But even at that, what, what college kids get up at the butt crack of dawn? I sure didn't. I'm right there with you. I definitely didn't. Let's see, I'm going to pull up my list here because I labeled each one for what I did. Let's see, let me find the finished page here. Here we go. Okay, so this was the first page that I did. Okay, we'll zoom in so you can see here up close. Eh, not that close. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Okay. Oh, no public transport. Oh, that's too bad. Could you get your daughter to drive you? Just drop you off and then come pick you up. That'd be nice. Okay, so this first one was Erosiaton Tombow. This one was Faber-Castell Polychromos. Now, I have all these, but like I said, uh, some of these aren't in big sets. They're like, maybe I ordered four pencils to try them out. Or, you know, not all of these are pencils, too. So, Faber-Castell Polychromos. I do have a large set of Erosiatons. I have a 24 set of that, of the... Uh, Polychromos. Studler Fine Liners. I've got the full set of that. Of course, not now since they came out with new colors. This one was colored with coffee. <laughs> uh, Cron d'Ache Wax Pastels. I had like a 12 set that I tried with that. Still cannot figure those out. Uh, this one is Prismacolors. So I had a full 150 set. I would love to see you use Tombow Markers. You know, I have a small set and I've practiced with them. I haven't done a ton, but maybe we could do that on one of like our weekend streams. The first one, the first one was Erosiaton Tombows. I-R-O-J-I-T-E-N and then Tombow. So yeah, this one's Prismacolor. Then this one was Faber Castell Gold Faber, which are, let's see, do I have them up here? I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby for like $3. They're just like a, a 12 pack. I really don't have any feeling about them one way or the other. Oh, looks like I don't have some in here. I must've put them somewhere, but anyway, I, I, I barely use them. 
Um, then let's see, this one is Winsor & Newton watercolors. This one's the Tombow brush pens. So yeah, I do have some of these. I think that's when I first got them though, so I at the time didn't really know how to use them. Uh, this one is graphite, so pencil. This one is the Stedler Ergosoft. I have the full 36 of that. This is the Master's Touch Chalk Pastels, which are the little, you know, things. Missing pencils, yeah. Uh, this one is the Prismacolor Verithins. Basically, it's a hard point uh, Prismacolor. This was a mixed media salvage operation. I had tried to fill it in with sand and glue, but it was disastrous. So I was able to get most of the sand off, and then I think I used some Prismacolors to fix it. But if you feel it, it's like super gritty. So yeah, that was my salvage operation. This was just Crayola pencils. And then this one was digital. I Before I printed this out, I colored these flowers on my iPad and then printed it out. So when it printed, this was already colored. So this one's digital. This is the Caranda Ash uh, Luminance. I don't have the Pablos. I don't know why I said Pablos. So let's see. Oh, Amanda says, that's beautiful. What a cool way to try different pencils and compare them. Night, everyone. Thanks for being so welcoming. Well, thank you for hanging out so much, Amanda. And we hope to see you next time and have a great night. Let's see. So yeah, this was the Cron d'Ache Luminance. This was the Durant Watercolors. This was the Sleechy Gel Pens. This was Charcoal. This one was the Durant Ink Tents. This one was Favorite Castell Pit Pens. I literally have like three grays. Me before. Not much. So I have the Deli Watercolor Pencils. They're really light with water added, but they're nice. They're just straight coloring from what I can tell. Oh, for sure, Loretta. Uh, this is Lior Rembrandt. This is one of those. You'll see the ones that are just like blue and red and yellow. I got the primary colors to try them out. That's it. So this is one of those cases. So I have, you know, just a few of the Lior Rembrandt. This is the Koh Noor. Again, another one of the ones where I just have a few. So these are Koh Noors. This is green tea slash peach tea. I had to brew that one really strong to get those dark colors. <laughs> uh, this is the metallic Prisma colors. Those ones that I have. This is the Brunzeal. Again, I just had a couple of these. This is the Stedler Pigment Liners. This one is the Brie Reese Glitter Ink. And this one is the Posca Pens. So yeah, those are all the ones I have. I have more now what, with all the Arteza and everything. But at the time when I did that, that was pretty much everything I had. <laughs> Love Luminance. Wish they had more than 72. Oh, right there with you. I've got my 24 set of Aerosofts out right now doing a tiny image as breaking from sketching. Awesome. Yeah, the pit pens were nice. I got them because I was uh, doing, what was I doing? I think there was some sort of challenge I was doing that only used black and white, so I used that. Okay, uh, where were we, where were we? I got these ones here. Okay, let's see, what time is it? Oh, we've already gone for two. All right, we're gonna finish this fish and then we'll call it a night. Sound good? Question about the Arteza. I was watching today and I noticed after the name and the number, there is a one, two, or three plus signs. What are the plus signs for? I tried online, but couldn't find an answer. That is the level of uh, light fastness they are. So if you'll see, I'm just gonna grab a couple of them here. Okay, let's see, what did I grab here? I just grabbed ones that were next to each other. Okay, so let's see, coral, these are, these are all three. Uh, but anyway, the plus signs are the level of light fastness rating. So more higher plus, uh, um, more plus symbols are, you know, stronger light fast. Basically it makes it so your page doesn't, uh, the, the colors don't fade as time goes on. I have a set of Rinziels, I like them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think I probably would have got more if I liked them, but I don't think I felt one way or the other about them. I still can't believe I have the full set for nothing. Full set of what? Oh, the pip? Are you talking about the pip pens or full set of which ones? Oh, 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 you get like, as in you paid nothing. I got you. I'm still trying to get the full set of my polys. Once I get those, I plan to get the whole set of Arteza's. Awesome. I want glitter Poscas too. I didn't know that they were glitter Poscas of your pip pens. I think Arteza's having 30% off Amazon. Yeah, probably. And even if they don't, I got 10% for you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. It's making me crazy. Oh, yeah. I still don't own a single Posca. They're great. I love them. I got them over time, but they're great. Okay. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Okay. We use the white. Let's blend that a little bit. 
All right, sharpen my white here. All right, we're gonna grab our, let's see, we're gonna use our pomegranate here just to do the edge. I know we didn't use pomegranate initially on here, but I just wanna use a little bit to darken. Okay, we're just doing it on one side here, okay? So crimson. Okay, carmine. Oh, the pit pens, okay. Glitter Sharpies, that'd be interesting. Okay. Here we go. All right. Now, this white part here, I wanna do it slightly different. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna get the two darker reds. We're just gonna use the carmine red and the salmon pink and the white. Can I zoom in any more here? Yes, I can. There we go. Make sure it's nice and focused. Donna says, well, I'm out of here, y'all. Got to get something. Go to the hospital for procedure on my back so I can get around better night night. Sounds good, Donna. Good luck with everything. Let us know how it goes. Have a good night. I only had two sets of five before she gave them to me. Oh, awesome. Okay. So we're using Carmine Red. Sounds good, Tamara. Have a great night. Get some sleep. So since I'm doing that Christmas one, I was trying to brainstorm about what I could color for that because obviously it's only, my session is only two hours, which is you know about average for here. Um, but I was trying to think of what could we get done in two hours. So I'm gonna have to look through there. You know, maybe we can just do like one of the 10 soldiers or, or something, something so that, you know, it's repeatable and you know, you could follow it to get an idea of what to do for the rest of it. Two hours is not long enough to finish a whole page. Ooh, apples and caramel dip. That sounds good. All right, now we're gonna use our white. screen yay <laughs> all right so there's that okay now let's do these fins here all right so we're gonna grab our crimson let's sharpen one more time oh lid broke off that's nice at least it didn't break while I was coloring that could have been bad Okay, there's 
Rose Carmine. And our Salmon Pink. And we're going to sharpen our white. Okay. There we go. Sweep that off. All right. So Crimson. Ooh, another blizzard. You guys always make me so hungry. <laughs> Using our crimson here. the chocolate cake one. Oh, that sounds good. All right, let's see. Carmine. colors really do blend very well. My puppies are enjoying the apples. There you go. Well, that was nice of you to share. morning from South Africa. Good morning, Sue. Welcome, welcome. We're finishing up our red little sh red little fish. Let's see, oh, I grabbed pomegranate. Didn't mean to do that. Should have gotten crimson. Okay, we're adding just a little bit of outline here. Okay, a little bit there. Uh, crimson red, Brittany. And welcome, Brittany. I don't think I saw your name in chat. So welcome, Brittany. And yes, it's crimson red. Cat is at the door again. He's trying to see if the other cat left any leftovers from her food. They have to be on separate diets, and so he's always sniffing around after what she's got because he knows it's different from what he got. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I jumped around there without saying I was crimson red, then carmine, and then the salmon pink for the little border. Not salmon, salmon pink. <laughs> okay, now I think what I want to do because we've got sort of like, you know, this darker body, we've got like a mid-range fin, but then I did, you know, lighter fins here. I think I want to do that kind of lighter one on the face. So we're just going to use, no, I'm new, but been, been watching all your videos. Oh, sounds good, Brittany. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. All right, so we're going to take the carmine and the salmon, 
and the white. Ah, thank you, Kimby. Yes, Brittany, we have a Facebook page also if you want to join that where I keep posted. There's some polls and everything like that. So if you wanted to keep up with that, there's a Facebook page there. As well as color chart downloads for a lot of the uh, color pencils that we use. Okay, so now we're going to use Carmine. I'm just gonna color the face sort of the same way that we did with the other one. both on the ball. Thank you, ladies. Let's see, then I can feel confident knowing I don't have to do it because I got both of you there. All right, that's the salmon pink. All right, now we're going to grab our white. 114 on Facebook? Nice! Yeah, I noticed it went over 100, uh, oh, not 100, went over 100 uh, members the other day. It's so exciting. There we go. Getting that white here. We got a nice, nice pale fishy here. Okay, actually, let's draw in a little bit more. Well, there's a cooldown on it uh, being Kimmy. I forget what the cooldown is. I want to say it's like 10 or 15 seconds. So if you do, if you type it at the same time, it'll just choose one of them and then put them up. There we go. Maybe I should just put them together and put it for like socials or something. I <laughs> gotta cause support bot to have a breakdown. It's possible. He did have one night where he wasn't working. It's like he went on strike. All right, now let's go ahead and do that same kind of lighter color for these bits here, okay? So we'll start with Carmine. Okay, Carmine. <laughs> okay, and then the salmon pink here. And then we'll grab our white. we go all right now let's grab our let's see what do we want let's get our crimson red we're gonna add just a little bit of shadowy areas to the head here okay so there's our crimson here here there, a little bit there just a smidge there and a smidge there and I'm gonna blend that in with the carmine <laughs> Poor bot. Go a little bit of that salmon. Okay. There we go. a pretty fish. Oh, look at that pair of them. They're so nice. <laughs> Giving him or her a workout. There you go. All right, well, let's grab our gel pens here and add a little bit of sparkles to our little fish here. Okay. Yep. Super zoom. <laughs> Emily, you like that artist newbie with the succulent jewelry? Yes, I do. Uh, she is based in Texas. Actually, my husband got me um, a necklace. I can't remember if it was birthday or anniversary. Um, but 
I found her in a shop here in town, and then I went ahead and found her on um, Instagram, and I messaged her just because she didn't live too far from me. I'll show everybody here. I'll show off a little bit. So she does these little uh, polymer clay, like little jewels, necklaces. Let's see if I can focus that. But they're all handmade. She does rings and earrings and everything. But she's so super talented and I love it. It's one of my favorite necklaces. I mean, you can see how small it is too. And you can see where, where it is, you know, in my hands. You know, it's like a finger. <laughs> But she's super talented. I thought like maybe I wouldn't like you know having these little jewels in here, but actually it adds a cute little little sparkle. But yeah, she's so talented. I could not do something that fiddly. That's that's. I mean, I can do little stuff, but that's teeny tiny. <laughs> All right, let's grab. I think these two colors for the Arteza glitter pens. Okay, so let's use this kind of reddish one around her eye. There, okay. Oh, and you know what? We need to give her an eye color. Oh, let me refocus here. Sparkly like sand, there you go. We're gonna give her a green eye. And for anybody wondering, these are the Arteza glitter gel pens. There's a link down in the description, plus a 10% off coupon if you uh, would like it. Okay. Then we're going to use our red. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way a little bit. See, are we zoomed all the way in? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, you follow her too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she, uh, we don't, we don't live in the same town, but we're, we're fairly close to each other. red here got let's see let's add those, those two dots there I'm having a hard time with skin tones yeah skin tones are not easy so I'll be perfectly honest skin tones are not my strong point either so what I do is first of all I'll I'll find you know three or four colorists on Instagram that do really good skin tones and obviously I won't copy them but I'll look at their technique and be like okay where did they place their cheekbone shading where did they you know place their highlights I also think of it as like putting on makeup you know what I mean you could also take a photograph of your own of your own face and see where the shadows naturally fall on you as well but I definitely use Instagram as my resource when I'm not sure how to color something and I see, you know, like, okay, how drum because I have a tendency to have a lighter hand when maybe I should be a bit more dramatic when it comes to faces. So I like, okay, how deep did they make their shadows kind of thing, you know? And like anything, it'll just take practice. Those little dots there. Then we're gonna add some on her tail fin. Okay, and these are little dots that Johanna put on here. I'm just copying them. Aw, puppy cuddles. No problem, Brittany. Yeah, faces are hard. They are not my strong point. It's kind of like drawing hands and drawing people. I, I really struggle with that. People are very hard. Usually I'll do like a self-portrait myself, but it ends up all derpy. <laughs> like, well, that doesn't look like me at all. I'll, like, I'll have even traced a picture and I'll be like, well, my nose doesn't even look remotely like that. Okay, then. <laughs> following her dots exactly because like my eyes are going cross-eyed looking at how teeny they are but we'll get the gist okay look 
see. We'll see how if we can see that shiny glitter. I mean, I do make jewelry, but I might do be for sure. Such cool stuff. I use real, real plants, mushroom flowers, etc. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's just you know, like the teeny tininess of it. Like her, her skill just blows me away. Okay, let's see if I can do this. You can see the glitter. There you go. You can see a little bit. Lift it too high, it goes out of focus. I wish my camera auto focused, but it doesn't. Oh, there you go. You can see on the eye how sparkly the eye is. Oh, these are so sparkly. Love sparkles. <laughs> oh, you know what I missed? We didn't do that part. I'm gonna fix that. Okay. Nope. All right, let's grab our carmine. our salmon pink and a little bit of white there we go all right that's better much better all right and there is our little redfish let's zoom out and take a look at our little cute little pair together here huh so we can zoom in just a bit more so we can see them place our little little red and orange fish here quite a pair they make hmm it'll make for a good screenshot later <laughs> okay so it's pretty simple tonight as far as which colors we used okay we'll go over them real quick just as a recap for those that maybe missed it let's see where did I oh I'm holding the red gel pen haha -ha. Silly me. Let's see, did I grab that one? That one. I think I grabbed that one. Okay. So we used these green and blue gel pens for their eyes. These red and orange gel pens for the glittery stuff. Okay. We used, as far as our colors, we really didn't use that many. So we have Tuscan Red. Right. Yeah. And Pomegranate and crimson red and actually i'm not gonna go over that i don't want to smear that gel pen uh carmine red here let's move let's move that down okay so oh wait that wasn't tuscan yeah okay yeah i did have tuscan red what did i use tuscan red on i have to go back and look at that why do i have tuscan red out did i use tuscan red I can't be the only person who stabs themselves with sharp pencils trying to hold a few pencils at once. You are not the only run, Loretta. Um, let's see, black raspberry. I might have used Tuscan Red somewhere. I got it out at some point. Don't remember what I used it for. This is why I need to write things down. Okay, and the white and the orange fish. The orange fish was... Uh, oh, you know what? Did I use... I might have used Tuscan Red. Yeah, I did. I used Tuscan Red with the orange fish. That's what it was. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's what it was. Our brain is a little... Not catching up with me here. Okay, so we have... Pomegranate, Crimson Red, Carmine Red. You belong over here. We used a little bit of Black Raspberry for the shadow. We used White for both of them. Uh, for the orange fish, we used Tuscan Red. We used, um, gosh, did we use, I think I used it on the edge. Okay, at some point, I used Tuscan, okay, thank you, Pat. Yes, <laughs> fish number one, I'm telling you. I have it here, so I know I used it. I just couldn't remember what. Okay, so Tuscan Red, Pumpkin Orange, Yellowed Orange, and Eggshell. And I'll write all these uh, colors down and post them to YouTube probably tomorrow if I can. There are some, I'm telling you, Mia, it's, it's been like this for all week. My brain is so fuzzy and unfocused. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, so there are our little fishy friends. I'm actually pretty pleased with how they turned out. And then we'll move on to our little frog friend and some flowers and some leaves. So I think, actually, there's no flowers, are there? Yeah, there's sort of a flower. Um, I think we will save the water for last. I think. I think, I think, I think. Okay? 
All right. Well, we have been live for two hours, 29 minutes and 24 seconds. So I think that is a good time to call it. I know we chatted a little bit, but you know, we have to catch up. We had some announcements. It's first page night. There's always bound to be a little chatting. So yeah, so thanks again, Samantha. I know she's gone, but in case she rewatches it, thank you again. I do need ice cream. That's, that's not a bad idea. Thank you again for your $5 donation, Samantha. That is so sweet. Um, yeah, other than that, I think we had a good turnout tonight. Everybody was here. Great fun. Lots of chatting. Absolutely love it. Uh, today is what? Wednesday? Yes. Oh, thank you, Tyler. <laughs> today is Wednesday, so barring any unforeseen technicalities, which, woohoo, the internet held out. We're going to have a guy come and look at it tomorrow to make sure it's good and solid. Um... And uh, yeah, we will be back on Friday and we'll pick up somewhere on here. I'm not sure which plants we'll do next, but we'll uh, we'll keep going. I'm so glad, Pat. It's been nice and to just sit and chill. Awesome, Loretta. I'm so glad. Thank you, Mia. Okay, well, everyone have a lovely night. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I will see you all on Friday. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. I see you there. Just popping in to say hi. Love to see new faces. Okay, bye. <laughs>